world, time for another Helpful Wednesdays. So today's topic is the second part of impulse versus bargain shopping, which is the bargain shopping part. Everyone wants to save money, right? But how do we save that money? Well, there are a few tips that I have that I'd like to share with you guys to help you get started on saving money and looking for the best buys in whatever you're shopping for. Oftentimes when we're shopping, whether it's for a gift or for ourselves, we tend to do it when we are at the busiest time of our day and we rush out and just spend whatever because we don't have time to really look around and bargain shop. It's very important to really prepare your shopping trips before you go on them. Whether it's groceries or getting clothes for yourself or buying electronic items, you want to make sure you get the best spang for your buck. I did get into that phase of uh, couponing, which you do save tons of money and often get free items, but that in itself is a full-time job. But what you do, which I can't really go into details about everything because that's a course in itself, but you buy tons of coupons from your uh, Sunday newspaper, clip them all out, organize them per category, and you really scope out the flyers for each grocery store or pharmacy and you match up the item that you have a coupon for with their sales and sometimes they double coupons and have certain sales that you can put a coupon on top of. I did that for a time and I got a lot of great things like toothpaste, toilet paper, shampoo conditioner for almost to nothing. That's one way that you can really save money when you're buying personal needs uh, but I had stopped that because it really does take all your time to really invest in and get the most out of that but if you have the time for it then go for it. So the tips that I want to share with you today are more towards items such as clothes, shoes, stuff that you would buy for yourself but I'm also gonna share some ways to save money even if it's not clothes and shoes. All right, tip number one is to make a list of the things you need. When you're gonna go out shopping, we are not gonna shop aimlessly. We're not gonna impulse shop either. So if you need some clothes for a trip, or you need some food that you need to get for the week, or you're planning something special, make sure you make a list, jot down everything you need, and stay to it. Don't go against the list. Don't get more things than you actually need. And just keep that with you as you go out. Tip number two is have a budget. I have a budget that I go through every week and month and it's set for you know certain bills and then it's set for certain spendings, whether it's personal or like car expenses, gas expenses, insurance. But for shopping, whether it's for myself, I have a specific dollar amount that I can spend. And if I'm gonna go splurge on myself, I will take out the money that I need and only spend that money. When you rely just on your credit cards or your debit cards, even though you do have a limit, you don't really see it, in, you don't perceive it in your mind. It's a card, you can spend it, and then you're like, I, but I could spend more if I keep applying the card. When you have straight up cash, say you can only spend $40, once that forty dollars is gone, it's gone. So if you make it a habit to have what you need to spend in cash, then you're more than likely not to sp go over that and spend more. And I learned that tip from Dave Ramsey. He has the um, envelope system, so you label out envelopes, and it'll say um, which bills that it goes to, what goes to groceries, what goes to gas, and what goes to personal spending. And whatever you have in that envelope, that's all you can spend. And you can't go over that for the month. Tip number three is do your preparation. Gather your coupons, make sure you're part of any rewards program to the particular stores that you actually shop at the most. Look online, there's even apps that you can get coupons on. Download those apps, especially if they're going to be beneficial to you because you shop at those stores a lot. 
take advantage of that. One of the apps that I use for coupons is called Retail Me Not. I can't remember the other ones, but I'm pretty sure if you just search in the uh, Apple Store or uh, Google Store, you will find many apps that have the ones for you. Also, there's Groupon and Living Social. I tend to go there a lot when I want to plan like a date with my husband and I'll look for massages on there or mini golfing or anything that we can potentially do during the week. I'll look on there and have great deals, but they also have deals on items like computers or tablets. Um, you pretty much can find almost anything on there. So take advantage of Groupon and Living Social. I know Amazon also has one called Amazon Deals, I believe. But I love Amazon. They have a really great uh, system. They have the Prime membership where you can get uh, like basically like a Netflix subscription. It may not have all the stuff that Netflix has, but it has a lot of videos and, and TV shows that you can watch. And then they have free shipping on all their Prime items. And then they have also the subscribe and save. So if there's any like food grocery items that you use a lot, like for us, we use peanut butter a lot. I go through them because they give you a 15% discount off their items when you use the subscribe and save. And you can set it up to get one, two, three, four, five, or six months. So that's really cool. You have to have five or more items on their subscribe and save to get the 15%, but if you don't, they'll give you 5%. So when you're going out to shop for whatever it may be, just make sure that you do your research and you prepare and snip the coupons that you have physical coupons in your hand make sure you cut them out and have them with you a lot of times I've gotten stuck where I clip coupons and then I don't have them with me when I go out so just make sure you have a surefire plan and before you head out to the store tip number four kind of goes with number three and that's just to have everything with you whether it's a folder with your coupons in it or um, a little bag that you keep it in However you want to carry them, keep everything with you and also bring a calculator. Nowadays we have our telephone so we can actually just use the calculator on the telephone and I like to do that especially at the grocery store to keep me within my budget. So if I only have $50 for the week and as I put things in my cart I'll put the amount that it is and I'll keep adding as I keep putting things in my cart just to make sure if I'm getting close to that $50 mark that I don't want to go over. I know that's like an extra task to do but really it's going to be a lifesaver in the end because if you don't know what you're putting into your carriage except that it's items that you need and not knowing the dollar amount then you're definitely going to go over your budget. Tip number five, I like this one a lot because I believe that it helps me and I think it would help others too and it's just to bring someone with you whether it be a friend, your spouse, a family member, um, bringing someone with you often makes shopping fun and they can also keep you accountable especially when you're trying to stay within budget and they can offer some good advice especially when you're shopping for clothes and you want to know if something looks good on you right you can't really compliment yourself it's better to get a different point of view and they're great for holding your bags all right so tip number six is something that I utilize all the time and it's when I'm going shopping especially clothes shopping I hit the clearance racks first. I make sure that if I need something and it's there, that I'm gonna get it there first. Especially if it's already marked down and you can use a coupon on it, then you're gonna bring it down even further. For clothes, the best times to get sales, I know it may not be the optimal time for you, but if it's getting out of a season, whether it's out of summer, out of the winter season or fall season, they're gonna be getting rid of the previous season to make way for the new season. So right now we're ending summer, all the bathing suits are gonna be on sale, all the shorts are gonna be on sale, tank tops, flip flops, you're gonna find all those things marked down very low and even though you're not really gonna be wearing them for very much longer, you can already save that for when that season comes around again. I do that often, especially when we're coming out of the winter season and we're going into the summer season. I make sure I get my jeans and my nice sweaters and I'll save them for the following season. And sometimes you can't do that with everything because things go out of season as far as style goes, but you can get away with a lot of things and things come back into style anyways. So just make sure if it's a good sale and it looks great, then just hold on to that. Make sure whatever you do when you're looking through, whether it's a clearance racks, or even if it's not, maybe there's a sale like a buy one, get one. Uh, make sure you're just getting the best 
bargain for that item. I know with cosmetics it's hard, but often if you get the store brand like Ulta brand or Sephora brand, they'll be cheaper than an actual like Bare Minerals or Urban Decay brand. So it really depends on how bad you want brand name. But if you can go to like a generic brand in anything, like they have store brands for each store. Um, Walmart happens to have great value and Equate brand. So if you can go to that and save an extra money just by going by a generic store brand rather than the name brand, then that's gonna save you some money too. So lastly, just ending thoughts. If you really prepare ahead of time and get all your stuff together, do your research on your stores, make sure you're part of the rewards program and have everything with you before you go out and stay to your budget and look for those clearances, those bargains, those sales. I guarantee you'll save money and you'll have a better chance at not doing the impulse shopping that we talked about in the last video. So I hope you enjoyed these tips and I hope that I helped you save a buck. And if you have any tips that you'd like to share, just leave them in the comments below. Or if you utilize any of the tips that I told you today, definitely leave me a comment. I'd love to know what you saved on recently. Right now I'm cut off from shopping, especially because we're going on vacation and we need to save up for that. But I always make sure that I spend the least amount of money possible on anything that I buy. So make sure to leave a comment if you like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. And we'll see you next time. Remember to love your life. Bye. Games. With a Z, not an S. Because I'm a great speller, bro. Oh, drop a turn below. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? Definitely.